Hey, what's up guys? Luke here today with a video for you. One of the most requested videos on this channel is a second version of Luke's top 10 free Mac applications because it was extremely popular. So today I'm bringing you Luke's top 10 free Mac applications version 2, edition 2, uh, numero 2. These are 10 more free uh, OS 10 applications that are incredible and I highly recommend that you have uh, regardless of what you're doing, uh, in what profession, what field, in whatever you're doing, I, I recommend that you have these apps because they're just great applications. Um, so I've got 10 of them here. They're not in any order at all, just like the first video. I've just got 10. Uh, about a month ago on Twitter, I asked you guys, you know, was there any applications that you thought were really useful for OS X? Uh, and some of you guys gave me a couple, and I don't think I used any of the ones you guys gave me. But uh, here are 10 applications that I think are great. If you want to download any of the apps I talk about in this video, uh, links in the uh, under bar or whatever they call it these days. Uh, the first one I want to talk about, again, not in any order, uh, is your browser. Uh, browsing is huge on computers these days. The internet has changed the way we do things. Uh, and personally, this is my personal opinion, I find Safari, Firefox, and I'm not even sure if they have Opera for OS X, but I find Safari, Safari and Firefox uh, ridiculously sluggish. So uh, in terms of a browser, I highly recommend Google Chrome. It's light, it's fast, uh, it's got lots of plugins, and did I say it's ridiculously fast? Like for instance, I'm going to close it here. This is just kind of a soft open I'm going to show you. Boom. It's up. You're ready to browse. Uh, if I close it all the way down here, let me just do that. We'll close it all the way down. Boom to nothing. One bounce and it's open. You're ready to browse. So Chrome uh, is great and it's so easy to use. It's got, I got all my nice bookmarks here. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Summer Company, Canada Trust, Ryerson, you know, all the good stuff. Burn notice and loss, surf the channels down, I think now. Anyways, second application I want to talk about, all right, is Evernote, which you guys I'm sure have heard of. It's a free service, it's great. Uh, essentially, what happens is it's right down here in my dock, and it's also actually up here in my toolbar. It's the little elephant there, and I'm like, that's how I'm going to do it. Um, actually, I'm just going to open the Evernote window down here. So, Evernote opens. And I've got a list of notes. I actually use this a lot, but I had a lot of client stuff in here uh, that I had to delete because it's obviously, I can't uh, you know, share their information with you. But anyways, all right, so what happens is you create a note in this service here. So I created one this morning that said test note. And then in the test note, I said, hey, what's up, dog? And I can add, I can format it, I can add bullets. It's, it's really great. It's a really, for, for considering this is free, this is ridiculous. You can create eyesight notes, you can create audio notes, so video notes, audio notes. Um, and then as soon as you're done with your note, you just click sync, and that syncs with the Evernote server. And then on, ooh, I had a, I had a video there that I didn't delete. It must have been on my iPad. And then on any device that has the Evernote app, so the iPad, the iPhone, all you have to do is open the Evernote app, uh, which, let me find it here, right here. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see this through the eyesight, but test note there, September. Open that up, test note right here. I can read it on my iPad. I can read it and edit it on any device. And then as soon as I'm done editing on, ed editing it on any device, I can sync it on that device. And it's just, it syncs all of your notes. It's perfect if you're a student um, and you're taking notes on your laptop uh, and then you have a desktop in your room or your desktop at home that you want to look at those notes again on. Don't take your laptop out of your bag. Bring your laptop to class, use Evernote, boom, it's on your desktop. Easy as that. It's a great application. Just close that. Uh, third application I want to talk about is a expander application called Stuff It Expander. Now you guys are going to be like, "Well, OS 10 comes with a free expander. OS 10 does not do uh, RAR files, tar files, or they might do tar files, but uh, they don't do a bunch of different compression files." Uh, and Stuff It Expander is free. It's essentially WinRAR for OS 10. I'm not sure. I think you might be able. No, you can't get WinRAR for OS 10. Anyways, you might be able to. But Stuff It Expander, uh, essentially, let me just open it here. I think I've got it already open. Right here, Stuff It Expander. Pinnacle Scripts. Uh, this is a, some scripts I have for a client. What I'll do is I'll compress it. And that this just compresses it to a zip file, which, yes, OS 10 understands, and you can open it in OS 10. But if this was like a RAR file, all you'd have to do is drag it over to Stuff It Expander, and it would expand it easy as that. Uh, you need it for all sorts of RAR files. Uh, and I, RAR is the only example I have because that's the only one I use Expander for. But it does every compression format. It's a really small app, and it's just always something good to have. Uh, because if you don't have the internet and then you get a RAR file, or that's the only one I have, um, then you can expand it with that. So it's pretty good. Really cool application next. Uh, there is a paid application out there. Uh, I think it's 10 bucks, which allows you to map out your hard drive and kind of visually see everything. 
uh, which is, I think that's a complete ripoff. $10 is, is a lot of money for something that just does that. So that's why you go ahead and you just download this little program right here called Disk Inventory X. It allows you to choose your hard drive right here. So I got my just my main hard drive. I unplugged all my externals for this video. And it maps out everything that's on your hard drive. So you can see different things. So as you can see over here, I have 130 gigs of QuickTime player files on this computer, which is a lot of QuickTime files. I'm just going to hide the stuff at Expander here. Uh, it's a lot of QuickTime files, and I promise you, it's not porn. It is all uh, lost file, lost videos, and I think it's a lot of burn notice episodes. Uh, so essentially, you can kind of see what the big files on your computer are. So for instance, this right down here, this is my Aperture library, this yellow block right here. It's 5.3 gigs. That's because I um, have a lot of raw photo files, and they take up a shitload of space. Um, all these little red files right here are my iTunes music. So as you can see down here, uh, down here, you can kind of look through all my music. Uh, Hero by Chad Kruger, I think. I think Bizarre Love Triangle. I forget who that's by. Shit. Anyways, but anyway, this is all my music. So you've got that. Uh, these, the blue stuff, is all movies. So those are a lot of, as you can see over here, there are a lot of GoPro movies. Um, this is the biggest video I have, and it's uh, right down here. You can see it's documents slash business slash pizza. So and uh, over here, it actually gives you. Um, uh, get info or does it? I thought it gave you a get info on how big it was but anyways and then you can also open with you can open the file and you can reveal it in finder so ha 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 here it is and if I open it what file is this? oh this is the pizza eating contest we had a pizza eating contest ha ha I lost but anyways it's a great little application I'll map out your hard drive you can see which uh, files are eaten up like huge amounts of space like I probably don't need that I can probably transfer all my QuickTime files to an external hard drive and it would free up 130 gigs of space on my hard drive. Very cool. Uh, next free application, which I'm assuming most of you have already, I just kind of wanted to mention it, is uh, Skype. Um, oh, look, uh, she wants to connect with me. I'll accept, whatever. Uh, I have all these Skype requests that I need to do. But anyway, Skype is a great uh, VOIP application that you can talk to people over the internet. You can video call them, voice call them, text chat them. You can actually screen share them now. Uh, so it's really cool. It's free. Uh, there's also a paid version that I think you can do three-way video calls, but I mean it's really nothing that you can't do on like a web service or anything. Air freshener just scared the shit out of me. Anyways, so you've got uh, Skype, great little application. I'm uh, Luke DeMarco on Skype if you want to add me. I literally got a thousand of you after that last Mac applications video with like a thousand people who added me because I gave my, like look at all these people. These are all people who added me because I gave my Skype away. I never talked to any of them. But you know what? You want to add me, send me a chat, I'll probably respond. Uh, next little service we're going to talk about is also, it's kind of like Evernote, uh, but on a different scale. It's called Dropbox. Really, really handy uh, for this project. I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but my board there, you shouldn't be able to see that because it's kind of still a secret. A uh, little project I'm working on. I'm using Dropbox a lot. Uh, not this particular account. This is my personal account. I don't use. Um, but open Dropbox folder. Essentially what this is, is I can do... Let me just find something here. I can take, uh, let's see, a little music file. Uh, let's get a, okay, so this is Airplane, so I'm going to copy this. This was completely legally downloaded, I promise. And I'm going to copy it to my Dropbox folder, paste the item there, and it's going to do its little syncy majigger thing. And then essentially, I can access that file on any computer, any device or any kind of platform that supports Dropbox. So my iPad, my iPhone, other computers, I can just log into Dropbox and I've got that. Um, somebody told me a long time ago, it's, a, it's essentially a cloud service, Dropbox, which I'm sure will get killed by iCloud when it comes out. But somebody told me that university students and high school students were getting so stupid that they, were, they weren't saving their work on their flash drives. They'd plug their flash drive in and then just assume that it automatically saved to the uh, to the flash drive and that's why uh, they recommended cloud services and I'm thinking I'm sitting there and I'm like oh my god like I mean obviously it's happened to me once or twice but like who keeps just thinking that anyways I just Dropbox it's great it's free you get two gigs free and you can really easily go up in gigs like I got 2.25 gigs now I think 2.2 gigs 2.25 I think I have it's great Dropbox kids um, next one is GIMP, uh, you don't want to pay, you know, fifteen hundred, twelve hundred dollars for Photoshop CS5. Uh, GIMP is a free alternative. It's right down here. It's this little guy. I'm not going to open it because um, one, 
advantage to Photoshop is that uh, it opens within like 20 seconds. GIMP takes literally two minutes to boot up, but uh, it's free. It'll save you all the money. It's not illegal because I know a lot of you have illegal copies of Photoshop. Um, so if you do any work in it, you're good to go. Um, it has all the same features of Photoshop. Uh, you know, it just doesn't have those like complex, like multi tri layer synchronized shit. You know, it doesn't have that. But it has your crop, your, you, it has your, it's more advanced than Microsoft Paint, but less advanced than Photoshop Extended, you know? So it's a great free application. Um, it just it works just as well. I know people that use it every day because it's available for OS X. It's also available for Windows. If you have a little PC you want to put it on. Uh, next application. This is this is one of my favorite OS X applications, um, which a friend pointed out to me a couple months ago. Uh, it's called Liquid CD. OS X doesn't come with a built-in. It doesn't come with a built-in DVD CD photo burner. Uh, it has iDVD, and iDVD is the wor iDVD is the worst. DVD burning software I've ever seen in my entire life. Toast Titanium is great. I do have that. I do have Toast Titanium. Um, but Liquid CD is just a lot faster. So if I'm doing something quick and dirty, I'll use Liquid CD. Uh, however, if I'm doing like a big project, I'll use Toast. Uh, but you can burn audio CDs, data DVDs, uh, photos, video DVDs, a whole bunch of shit. All you have to do is drag it into this window, burn, you're done. It's so easy. Um, and it's free, so it's great. And Toast Titanium is like 100 bucks. So this is a great, great application, uh, possibly one of my favorite on this list. For, for as little as it does, it's just an awesome app that works really well. Ninth application, we're almost done kids, uh, is TweetDeck. Yes, went to my first university class three days ago, uh, and uh, literally, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this search, and my first university class is BDC191, it's an uh, audio production lecture. So anyways, as you can see here, all these hashtags, so ready for my BDC191 lab tomorrow, uh, we're actually encouraged to tweet in class, like we're marked on tweeting. One of the things, one of our assignments is to create a Twitter account, which I was like, blew my mind. So, you know, uh, great thing to have, especially as this is what I do, I, I keep my search at my university, so I go to Ryerson University in Toronto, um, and I keep that, and this is, I can see all the events and shit that's going on in real time at that day. So, I mean, it's just something handy to have, something handy to look at. You can see what's going on. Uh, I found out that Ryan Gosling, I don't know who that is, but he's going to be at the university on Saturday. No idea. But uh, really kind of handy thing to have. And Twitter is just awesome. It's a great tweet deck client. You can do multiple Twitter accounts up here. You can do Facebook. Uh, it's just, it's the most advanced tweet or Twitter client, and it's free. It's personally my favorite. I used to use Tweety, wherever Tweety was, uh, but uh, it started to really suck. So I'm not even going to get into that. TweetDeck is the way to go. And the last one, the last application I want to talk about today is a Google Book Downloader. Now, you're essentially you already know what this is, but it's really great. It actually turned $200 worth of textbooks. Let me show you. Uh, Finder, uh, Documents, University, Narrative Writing, Textbooks. So this textbook, believe it or not, this little book right here is $70 to buy in the store. I got it from Google Books yesterday for free. So it's great. This textbook is like 50 bucks Google Books yesterday free so great 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 all you have to do is open up Google I'm gonna go to books dot oh, books dot google dot com uh, just pick a book I guess I'll pick uh, Alice Alice's Adventure in Wonderland part 2 I'm going to get it now no pardon me get it now oh pardon me I don't want to do that where's the ones where I can read them online uh, preview this book, pardon me. So anyways, it opens right here like this. You take the URL, Command C, open Google Book Downloader, Command V the URL, download it, just like that. And it's on your desktop, PDF copy. Uh, I put all of my textbooks, I think I had, I had 13 textbooks yesterday that I got off Google Books, uh, Pirate Bay, shh and stuff like that, but I put all of them, so it was like it was like 12 textbooks, so you're assuming that it'll be like that. These are 12 textbooks right here, so it's pretty awesome. Um, anyways, so that's Luke's top 10 free uh, applications. You got Chrome, Evernote, Stuff at Expander, Disk Inventory X, Skype, Dropbox, GIMP, Liquid CD, TweetDex, and Google Book Downloader. Uh, if you want to download any of them, download links will be in the description. Also, download link for this wallpaper, which is New York City, description. Uh, anyways, I think this is, uh, that just about wraps it up, kids. 
This has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Remember to follow me on Twitter. That's Twitter.com slash LukeDemarco. And check out my website, LukeDemarco.com. Uh, I keep everything Luke DeMarco. Oh, and fan me on Facebook. Facebook.com. Facebook.com slash Luke DeMarco fans. So it's pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, uh, that is it for this video. If you have any suggestions for maybe Luke's top 10 free applications version 3, leave them in the comments below. Uh, and I will talk to you in the next video.